Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. A one more tricky interview question with respect to method overloading. Don't get confused with these kind of questions. The question is about once again, I have one method, let's say print method, and I have overloaded this method multiple times in the same class. Here you can see that same method name, print, 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 but uh, the parameter is different here, which is integer. And here you can see this is your integer where egg parameter where you can see that this is behave like a normal array parameter. You can see this is an integer array parameter. So when you write three dots, right, it will become array parameter here. Okay. Now, uh, this is integer. This is byte, short and long. So the question here is that if I'm passing 10 from here, which method will be executed first? How exactly JVM will follow the order? So the first preference always remember that will be given to integer. So I'll write the preference here. The first preference will be given to integer. Then it will be given to long. Then it will be given to the wrapper class integer. And then the three dot parameter will be given. Okay. So let's see, we have a uh, first preference will be given to integer. Do we have any integer function? Yes, we have that. So if I'm passing 10, it should print 10 on the console or sorry, it should print int on the console. So let's run it and let's see. So here you can see, yeah, int is getting printed. Perfect. Now I'll do one thing. Uh, I'll remove this guy for time being. Let me comment it out. And then the second preference will be given to long. And before long, if integer is there, no integer is not there. We have long, yes. So now if you pass 10, this method will should be called. So let's see, it should print long. So here you can see long is getting called. Then let's see if I'm uh, commenting the long as well. Okay, and then um, uncommenting this guy once again. So here it will check. Okay, fine. First preference will always be given to integer. So it will print int once again here. Perfect. Now I'll do one thing. Let me comment it out this guy also. Now the preference between integer and uh, this integer three dot parameter, these two guys. So preference will be given to integer. So let's run it again. So in that way, let's quickly run as, and then you can see integer, the preference will be given to integer. Okay, and then after that, if you comment it out this integer wrapper function also, I mean the wrapper parameter also, now the integer three dot parameter byte and short. Then in that way, if you run it, the preference will be given to integer three dot parameter. So here you can see integer three dot parameter preference will be given to that. If someone is asking, okay, fine, we have one integer like this one integer i parameter and uh, then i have integer three dot parameter the preference will be given to integer here so let's run it again so here you can see that yes preference will be given to integer once again so remember this thing this is the sequence that you have to remember now if you really want to call uh, byte and short then you explicitly typecast into byte let's see for example now i'm explicitly telling that fine let's call the byte uh, function and then uh, I'm passing the byte parameter, converting 10 into a byte explicitly here. And then if I'm calling it, then in that case, it will call the respective byte function. Here you can see 10 will be given to this byte and then the byte will be printed on the console. You can see it over here. If you really want to call this integer, then in that case, you have to typecast into wrapper integer here and then you run it again. So in that way, you can see integer is getting called. If you really want to call same thing, let's see for the short number, just part short here and then run it again. So here you will see that short method is getting called, right? If you really want to pass the long, you can write long. Otherwise you can pass simple 10 capital L or a small L also. You have to explicitly tell that this is a, a long number when you run it, then the respective long method will be called here because this 10 L is a long number. Then compiler will decide, okay, fine. This long I 10 L will be given to this guy and long will be printed here. So remember these are the uh, tricky interview question. People might ask you at a time of interview with respect to method overloading for the similar type of data from the similar family like integer family with three dot parameter, integer wrapper, integer byte short long and everything. So preference will always be followed in this way, in this particular order. I hope it's clear. If you like it, please subscribe to the channel and uh, press the bell icon to get the notification for the further videos. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care and God bless you all.